Have you ever thought how and when Gemini was created? So today, we're going to be jumping into that, and my name is Sean Safari. Let's get to it. So, over here, we're going to be going on the Gemini website over here. And as you can see, it was made by AI and also was um, founded by Google. And over here, we're going to be asking it a question of how and when Gemini was created. So, we're going to be guessing it's pretty good at saying what it's actually good at. But also, don't worry, you can also have the website on your iPad, phone, and also you can have it on your laptop like this, or even computer, all sorts of electronics. And also, don't ever forget that you have to also um, sign in so you can also have your chats um, that are saved and everything. You can have my own um, account that is saved in and everything. And there's always many features that actually ChatGPT and Capula, the two biggest competitors, don't have. So over here, as you can see, there's two that I can definitely say they don't have. Over here, images, upload images. It's something that we really need because if you really think about it, when you need images, sometimes you can't really describe something. And we need, you know, proof to describe it to an AI because AI is, an AI can't, like, have the same feeling and the same other statements like uh, a human. So over here, you can just upload an image when you have already downloaded it from wherever you want like instagram twitter TikTok, youtube anywhere you want and also you have use microphone the use microphone is like a voice memo like whatsapp or all sorts of these other social media so this voice memo if you don't want to write and spend your time writing a whole big thing you can just send a voice memo and it will just um respond in any kind of way so those are the two things that chatty pt actually doesn't have but of course submit and all these you know writing so you can also give a question or kind of an explanation of something you want you can just have it also there's also options of what you want to talk about like over here as you can see it has a good design not too much not too amazing and like not too much coming into your eye it has a good attractive design over here like as you can see it says hello sean it also says how can i help you today so it gives you that kind of you know good feeling and good like you you, you feel you, you can feel like you want to actually ask it something so over here there's also options like there's suggest an organized list of the best food spots in a city so we can search any city you want any kind of food you want and you can just have that best kind of version of that food you want. So that's how it works. And then the second option is help me craft an O, a zero O O O message based on a few details. That's also the second one. The third one is help me write a refund email for a product that's damaged, which is something some people really have to be, you know, helped with because sometimes you can get really confused and you need something professional and to be written, you know, on a refund. And then here there's a road trip drive, time, and kid entertainment ideas. That's something that really, really can, people can struggle with in this world because, like, when you're going on road trips in a car, you know, the kids can get car sick or anything like that. So you always have to de get these little kid entertainment things that, you know, get that thing off of their mind. So all the time you can just have that, you know, cheering up, you know, image of anything or kind of entertainment that they can base it off. And then over here, there's also a setting that is humans review some saved chats to improve Google AI. As I said, it was founded by Google. Don't be surprised because that's how it is. And then to stop this for future chats, turn off Gemini apps activity if this setting is on. Don't enter info you wouldn't want to review or use how it works. Those are also something that you can also, you know, um, follow through and also, you know, um, have a good understatement for it. And then over here, there's also manage activity or dismiss because you're going to ask a question. As you can see here, I'm going to ask how and when Gemini was created. And then over here, there's also the help section, which is the AI helping you if you have any kind of, you know, thing happening, like it could just answer something out of nowhere, or you can not even type on it and just say that you can't, you know, take your kind of info. You can just go on the help section, any kind of, you know, thing that you would want help for, just based on, and it, it's also, de it depends on your decision. So over here, there's also settings. There's all sorts of settings. There's extensions, your public links, and dark theme. As you can see, you can have a dark theme like this, which is a good 
thing. You know, if you don't want to have a lot of light in your, you know, way, because as you can see, I have a good presentation at the same time. And then if you want, you know, a good light theme, you can just do this. Turn it off and we have a light theme. So those sorts of things are always there. And then your public links, you can have links sent into this and then they can just, you know, give you um, something you want. Like a question that you ask, it just answers to you. And it's also very fast. And I can definitely say it's almost faster than ChatGPT and Capula, which were made, ChatGPT was made by OpenAI and then Capula was made by Microsoft. So we're going to get into the question and see what happened and also, also remember, ChatGPT was created first, and then Gemini came uh, came along because people were saying it's the next Google breaker, and then Google was like, you know what, we're gonna do our own thing, and then it made Gemini. So over here we submit, and then as you can see, it has a good presentation, and then it comes with something, and then here it says, Google's next generation AI model, me, which is referring to itself, and then was publicly announced on December 6, 2023, last year purposefully avoiding mentioning the source since you asked not to include URLs. The name Gemini likely references the constellation and Gemini, which is associated with twins, reflecting the idea of two similar but distinct models. And that's why it's called Gemini, pretty much. And it's a good, you know, uh, um, kind of explanation. And you can also ask, um, and also, as you can see, it saves, it saves the recent chats you've had. And then you can also ask, um, um, did Google found Gemini? Just to see what it could say. Did Google found, did Google found, found Gemini? Gemini. Yes, like this, or Gemini. Is Gemini founded by Google? Is Gemini founded by Google? And then this goes in, and you can have it. As you can see, it has a good, you know, kind of response, and it, it goes very fast. And you can see when it says something, you can also like and also dislike. So when you want a bad re response by disliking it, it means that you didn't like the response, it was short or any kind of thing like that. Here you can share and export anywhere you want, like WhatsApp, or social medias, and other applications. Here there's also double check response, which you can double check for another kind of response. And then here you can like and say, you know what, I want more of that little, you know, kind of um, good um, kind of way, you know? And then over here they have search related topics. Which is something else that JGBT and Capital don't have. So Google really had some good projects on this and they started working on it in 2022, I believe. So over here, who found the Gemini Google, Gemini AI model, who created Gemini app, who is the owner of Gemini, can I use Gemini AI for free, what is Gemini concept? So because you've asked two questions already about Gemini, it's giving you more related topics. So over here, I'm going to read this answer of Gemini. That's correct. While I, which is referring to itself, the Gemini AI model and not attributed to a single founder, the project was spearheaded by Google in collaboration with, with its deep mind vision division, known for its advanced AI research, mentioning source not required based on your preference. And, that, and then, so while I wasn't created by a single person, Google definitely gets the credit for bringing me to life. Which I could say is all true because Google announced this at their event in 2022, I believe, uh, late 2022. So as you can see, there's also more related topics. So we're gonna ask one more question and then you know you guys can judge from there in the comments. Do you, do you like it or not? You know how it works. And you can also review chat GPT next. So over here we say, uh, let's say, uh, Gemma, who's the, uh, let's say, is Ge can I use Gemini AI for free? Let's just see what it could say. As you can see here, it just, it, it right away goes to, and then over here, as you can see, Gem Gemini is for free when you want to use it for signing and any kind of activity like that. So it's like that, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and that's all. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And that's it, and welcome to South Canada Academy, and Sean Safari is out. Peace.